Hi everyone, welcome back. My name's Asha Wynn and I am an interior designer based out of Hawaii and also the creator behind Studio Asha, this YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to cover five common mistakes that people make when hanging their curtains um, or draperies in their homes and how we can fix them. Mistake number one is hanging your curtain rod too low. The height and width of your curtain rod is going to make all the difference in the final look for your curtains. And what you don't want to do is hang your curtain rod too low or right along the frame of your window. Raising your curtain rod will draw your eye naturally up, making your windows appear larger and also give the illusion that your ceilings are higher. A general design rule to know how high to hang your curtain rods is either halfway up or two thirds of the way up between your window frame and your ceiling height. I personally like to hang curtains as high as possible and then this way it gives the overall design a very grand, nice elevated look. If you happen to have crown molding in your space, then I would hang your curtain rod three-fourths of an inch below your crown molding. Mistake number two is having your curtain rod too narrow. You wanna make sure that your rod extends at least six inches, if not more, beyond your window frame or the sides of your window frame. This way, your window will appear larger and we can bring in more natural light into your room. It will also be nice to have the folded drapes just sitting nicely and bunched together on the wall versus covering some of the window. Mistake number three is purchasing a curtain panel that is too short. Um, don't do this. <laughs> it's such a pet peeve of mine. Um, you want your curtains to hang from the rod all the way down to the floor. And oftentimes this may uh, mean that your curtain panels will be custom, but I promise you it's worth the investment because it will give your space a very elevated modern look. My personal favorite is when you have your curtain length um, kiss the floor, which means it's about a quarter of an inch hovering above the floor or it hangs exactly to the floor. I believe that this gives a very tailored, elevated custom look and will also be extremely functional. Another option you could do is having your curtains extend one to two inches beyond the floor. It creates this type of puddle look that adds a lot of drama. Um, to your space, but I only recommend that you do this in areas that have very low traffic where you won't be opening and closing the drapery that often. Mistake number four is not purchasing curtains that are wide enough width for your window. For an elevated and elegant look, you want your curtain panels wide enough so when they are completely closed, there's still fullness to them. So a good rule of thumb is that you cover the entire window in addition to the area of the rod um, that extends beyond the window. This would mean that your window panel is two to three times the length of your window. So for example, if you had a window that is 40 inches in width, then your curtain panel should be at least two times or three times um, that measurement. So it would be around either 80 inches or 120 inches. So mistake number five is buying curtain panels in a synthetic fabric. Unfortunately, and this is my personal opinion, I think synthetic fabrics have a tendency to cheapen a look and don't have a lot of um, sheen in it or texture that really creates a space that feels elevated. So some of the fabrics I would recommend are cottons, linens, if you want a really dramatic look um, you could do velvets and all of these also have a weight to them, a texture to them that really adds a sophisticated elevated look to your space. I know that window coverings can be overwhelming at times. There's a lot of details and a lot of things to consider. So if you want me to produce more videos around this topic, 
please feel free to leave feedback in the comments below and I'd be happy to answer your questions. Um, thanks again for tuning in. My name is Studio, my name's Asha. This is Studio Asha, uh, my YouTube channel where I share my passion for design and want to help creatives on making informed design decisions um, in their spaces. So until next time, stay creative and happy watching. Thank you.